Josh, congratulations on a, a, a very impressive victory after a, a crazy fight. Uh, I guess just emotionally, physically, how are you feeling right now? <clears throat> Hello, guys. Nice to meet you. First, I want to say so sorry for my English, maybe because I have very tired and very emotional now. Uh, what what's question? I am so happy that because Arman is very tough opponent, was close fight, tough fight, but Arman fighting with Islam, this was very close fight too, and now I show that I am I have paper that be the the best guy in the world. Yeah, for sure I make something some mistake this fight but every single fight is is lesson for sure next fight i gonna be a lot of different guy yeah. obviously you were a champion before you came to the ufc but tonight main event in the ufc were there, were there nerves was there a different feeling than your other fights i don't feeling uh, like a lot of nerves uh, because every single fight for me is like normal fight but i feeling like m more tired because more was media <laughs> talking uh, from English. My English is getting better, but it's, I know it's a uh, long way behind me, you know, and I still have to learning, but feel great, feel great for sure. So UFC league cha is league championship in the world, it's the biggest sport. Now I'm fighting in the mind event, so I have five fight in the UFC and for bonus brother this is this is amazing feeling for me bonus change life everything change life I am I am so happy that I can fight in UFC I can so happy that I can I show myself all world you know because all world watching UFC and now every every people know who I am who is Mateusz Gamrot all three judges scored the fight the same way they gave him rounds one and two you three, four, and five. So, how were you feeling after two rounds? Did you, did you know you were, you were behind two rounds? How did you feel? This was tips. My corner, Boris Mankowski, he told me last, hey, you lose one and second round, and I know that I have accelerate. If, if I won't win, I have to accelerate to another round. But uh, I told you, like in the press conference before fight, I am experienced. I am. I am. I am, no, <laughs> I'm used to fighting five rounds, I used to be, uh, be pressure, I used to be the champion, you know, and I know, I saw Arman eyes that he going down every single round, you know, he, his condition going down, my condition going up, and I know it, that stamina and condition gonna be key, this fight. One thing that was maybe a surprise uh, were the kicks that he landed to the body. I mean, several hard kicks. I guess just how devastating were those and were any of them a threat to, to stop you? Uh, but in fight, I don't feel too much this kick. For sure, this, this looks maybe so hard. But if you fight in, inside octagon, you have a lot of adrenaline, a lot of emotion, you don't feeling like too much. Or maybe tomorrow I gonna be feeling more, yeah. <laughs> but surprise for me was because I thinking Arman gonna be kicking in the head and my hands gonna be a little bit up and because I get the kick in the, in the body. But nothing more, I, everything I, I did in, 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 in gym, you know, I have fantastic uh, people, I have, I have fantastic friends, to American top team, to Red Dragon, we know it everything, and now I can say greetings, greetings, and thank you so much for every coaches, every fighters from ATT, Dan Lambert, Mike Brown, my mentor, my head coach, and like see, like the same Red Dragon gym from Poland, Wiosło Bartas, every single my my friends with him, with I train together, we are one team, we are success team. It sounds like your corner had the fight scored properly, but I guess how confident were you that you had the decision when it came time to, to hear what the judges said? Nobody want, <laughs> nobody want uh, confident that, that I can win. This was really close fight. After fight, I asking Boris, "Hey, we win?" I don't know. I don't know. We have to wait. You know, <clears throat> when when I 
this moment when when it was in the verdict i don't know who who winning but i was i was like a little bit confident because i know it my wrestling was a lot better you know my single my single leg my double legs was was working and i think this gonna this was key to the win nice. last thing for me uh, justin gaethje the fight that you want next why is that the right opponent for you i am big fan justin gaethje you know i have a lot of a lot of respect for him i think he's the most brutal guy in the lightweight division this guy fighting two times in the title shot yeah well, like, like the gold and I think this is old school, you know, I am new school, I am new generation, now I want to I wanna switch the place, you know, I, I start climbing in the, in, the, in the top, today I a little bit asking with Khabib, Khabib, Khabib say me, thank, uh, congratulations you fight, you are a nice guy, for sure, you, for sure in the future you meet with the Islam in fight, so I keep finger crossed it for Islam, I think Islam beat Charles Oliveira next fight, and I want to next fight with Justin and next fighting with Islam. Simple plan. <laughs> Gamera, uh, I asked John Blahovich after his win, um, I shall ask you, is it time for the UFC to go back to Poland? Let's go. Yeah, I want to, nice question. Thank you, buddy. I want to say, yeah, UFC come to Poland. We have fantastic people, fantastic place fantastic fighters everything if you make fight in the national stadium 16000 people gonna gonna sit and watch for sure this gonna be uh, this gonna be 16000 tickets sell for sure yeah and we have so light uh, former light heavyweight Jan Bahovic my nice guys Janek pozdrawiam cię uh, so we have Tibura, myself, and many more fighters. Please, UFC, bring to Poland, and we show that we are the was one of the best nationality in the in the world, for sure. Congratulations. Thank you, buddy. Did you get a chance? It looked like you maybe went over to him and exchanged some words afterwards. What sort of things were you saying to him after the fight? One more, please. After the fight, it looked like you went over to Armand and you, had, you guys actually exchanged some words. Maybe you were just saying good, good fight or whatever. Ah, what ah, what ah, were you guys talking about after? Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. I don't. Uh, I, I go to Islam and uh, I go to Armand and I say thank you so much for the fight. You are a true warrior and I hope so. We we'll meet together in the training. We, we, we're going to be training together in one gym, for example, American Top Team, because I am. For sure, when we're going to get, training together, we're going to be growing together. That's it. It looked like towards the end of the round, you, you ate a, a decent amount of the leg kicks. It looked like, of his leg kicks, it looks like it started paying dividends towards the end, the fifth round. I think one of the kicks maybe dropped you or it, it slipped your leg out. Was it, were those kicks of his starting to become effective as the, as the fight went on? And how, how hurt were your legs when it got to the end of the fifth round? Uh, yeah, this legs was 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 good. Was good. I'm feeling this this legs. After fight, I feeling more. But now it's a lot better. Yeah, I know. N not so hurt my leg. This is like normal kids. You know, when you going to training, you you punch and you get kicked. This is the same. Yeah. But I am I am really healthy. If I get <coughs> offered next month, maybe not fight. But if you get offered next two months, for sure I gonna be ready. What was fun about this fight was that it was so even. It was so evenly matched. You guys were answering everything that you guys did. Even the commentary was like, man, this is a tough one to score. As that fight's going on and he's pulling off good moves, you're pulling off good moves, could you tell how close the fight was? And when a fight's close like that, do you enjoy that? Because you can lean on your experience and try to pull some new trick out of the bag. But could you tell how close the fight was when it was going on? Yeah, this was close fight. I know it. But I, I told you, like, I saw his eyes, like, this guy, every single round going down, conditioning, and I know, know it that I have to accelerate. And I doing like that. I, after second right, I more pressure, more, more takedown, more right hand, because my right hand was success. Every my single right hand was the punch in the face in Arman. Yeah, but Arman is really high-level guy, you know, this is close fight. I know it is going to be 
before we talking a lot, Arman talking a lot that he can finish me, I talking that I can finish it, but I know that there's gonna be five rounds for sure because we are, I am high level, he is high level and we show that. Oh, for different question was, Arman is high level wrestler, I am high level wrestler and every two fight, five high, le high level wrestler is really close fight, like for example Arman Islam, close fight, like me, close, close fight, you know, but sometimes it's, you know, it, this is normal. Well, you guys had some great transitions when you guys did get to the ground. Were you glad that there was a point where it was able to get there, where you were able to take his back and, and sort of prove that, that you were the better wrestler when it was on the ground? Yeah, for sure. I show every single fight I, that my wrestling is high level and I, I want to show this. Yeah, I take back the f uh, round number three yeah, with him, but every uh, another round I control his in the body lock, in the second, uh, every, every, every my attack was success, you know, and I know that this is going to be key for winning this fight. And I guess one of the last ones for me, you caught his kicks a lot of times and lifting them up. And in other fights of yours, you were able to trip the guys and either get them down. Were you surprised by his balance and how well yes. he was able to, to maintain his balance? Yeah, I, I, yeah, uh, this was maybe a little bit surprise for me, but uh, or not, because this th only wrestler guy have good balance like that, you know. If another guy who don't have good wrestling, this gonna be success going down in the in the ground for sure but this was yeah surprise for me and this is a lot of uh, power you know the, i try take down take down i take the legs in the higher arman uh, arman defense move okay i have change change technique to to wrestling you know i was gonna yeah. say did, did any of that get frustrating when that move wasn't working out for you because i know it has worked for you well in the past mm -hmm. this is not frustrating you know because you have to be patient and you have you have to get two plans, three plans. If you, oh, this is, oh, this is lesson last like like my couple of years ago fight, you know, because I have only one plan and I go to fight with one plan and ah, go, 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 and my plan don't working and I what what, what I can do it, what I can do it. Now I have like two, three plans, you know. If I my second, uh, my first plan don't working, okay, I change and I doing different techniques. Okay, and last thing for me, he had uh, made some good like spinning attempts, spinning elbows, some, some kicks and stuff. Was that anything that you expected or knew that he was maybe going to throw some spinning techniques out there? And did any of that sort of surprise you? No, I, I know it that Arman uh, like spinning back, back fist, kicking back fist. Yeah, I know it that this, this guy is going to be here. Uh... Congrats on the victory. Thank you so much. More question? Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice, have a nice night. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. So, uh, uh, so Polish legend Joanna Jan Jacek, she recently retired. What did Joanna mean to you, and what did she mean to Polish MMA? <sighs> Brother, Joanna is my really good friend. She helped me a lot when I signed contract UFC. Now, she helped me a lot every single day. She. She gave me a lot of motivation and now I am so happy that she going to retire because I, I think she deserves that. She deserves for everything what is the beautiful for life. She was superstar in UFC many years. She was six, five, six times in the world champion. She, she did everything in, uh, in the UFC, but she is true warrior. She is true fighters. Uh, she is strong mentality, but I wish her all the best in the life and doesn't matter what she want to do in life, I keep my fingers and for sure I gonna be support her. Thank you. Congrats on the win. Thank you so much. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>